toppers. They are definitely something that can enhance your hair when you have hair loss. I am revisiting this topper just in a different color, but stay tuned. Hey, it's Barbara. Welcome back to my wig gig. I am revisiting this topper, which is Katcha by Sister Wigs, which can be found at Hair Kitty Kitty slash Eastside Imelda. And I just wanted to show you my progress on this. This happens to be a little bit different color than the one that I had shown you a few months back. Um, I've been growing my hair out close to a year now. And um, I still have a ways to go. My hair has gotten this long, but I was literally bald um, a year ago. So uh, I've made quite a bit of progress. Anyway, I wanted to show you this because um, it's, it's really starting to work for me. However, color-wise, I had to change up my color because I tried the Illuminati R, which I love the color, but uh, even though it has a darker root, uh, my under hair just didn't really blend with it. it. I needed to really grow out my own gray hair. So I'm going to, I'll show you Katja uh, on the Illuminati R first because uh, I've already put this one on and i um, the prep work that I have to do in order to wear this, because I really, my hair is very sparse up here on top and at my temples. And um, I literally use something like got to be glued. Uh, and I use it in my front forehead area in order to glue this down to keep it in place. But I'm going to do a quick spin so you can see this in the round. You can see she's pretty good color-wise as far as blending, and my length in the back is just almost there. But she's really starting to uh, work for me. It's taken quite a while, uh, several months, in order to get this to work for me. So I want to show you Katja, um, this is how she comes uh, when she is packaged in this nice little box frame. And then she sits inside. It tells you what, uh, which one you have, the, the style, the color number, uh, or in this case, it's HF Illuminati-R. That's that's what the color is. And uh, it, it's just a nice packaging. And uh, I'll show you, I'm gonna take this one out. I haven't worn her since I did my last um, review. So I wanna show you. Now she comes with a little dryer gel packet to, to keep the moisture out and everything. And she, she comes in um, a hairnet with uh, some tissue inside to keep her style and structure um, from getting too messed up. Sometimes uh, things come through and they have what we call taco head. In this case, um, she's laid more flat. Uh, and at least that's how I put her back in, in um, her casing here. So anyway, I wanted to show her to you in the Illuminati R. She's exact same style as this. The only modifications I've made are I've cut my bangs just a little bit to fit my face and suit my face and um, just blended her as well as I can with my own bio hair. So this is how she comes out of the box and she's got this razor cutting. Now something I learned 
She's actually a heat friendly fiber and you could curl this if you so choose. My hair is fairly straight. Um, it was always stick straight when I was growing up, but as I have gotten older um, with the grade, there's a little bit more kink in it. So I kind of get a little bit of curl up here in the front of my hair. Of course, I'm always putting it behind my ears. So um, I'm wearing wigs most of the time. So anyhow, uh, this razored cut, very, very cute style and uh, just a, a razor cut bob. So inside though is the nice part of this, and I'll show this to you. She's got a full monofilament, hand-tied monofilament top. This is so nice. It's comfortable on top of your head. And she's got the silicone band at the front because she does have some bangs. So she doesn't have a lace front, but she has that silicone band. So when I prepared my scalp for all of this, because I don't have hair, um, my hairline has receded back quite a bit, and I just got little strands of hair. And so I just used that got to be glue, and I put that right at that line where this silicone band sits on my head. And um, so I'm, I'm able to uh, at least wear her a little more comfortably. I don't have to worry because I don't have a lot of hair in my temples and that's where clips are in this temple area. And I have very little hair there for those clips to hold on to. So what I like to do is just have that little bit of security using that glue. Now there's possible possibilities of using, you know, people talk about using tapes and things like that, but I find that I don't like using tapes because they really pull at my hair. My hair is extremely fine, not a lot of it. And um, I, I wanna keep the integrity of at least what I do have. Again. She's got that nice hand-tied monofilament top, the silicone band. She has five clips, one at the back, two at the back of the head, not centered, but this is center back, and then two at the temples. So if, you're, if you have enough hair all around, this should work just fine for you. The other thing I would say relative to this color is that you're probably, if you're gray, I think you're gonna find that this will work out great for you. Um, me, because I am actually gray, but I color my hair, and generally I color it so that I have, um, I'm wearing rooted wigs, and I like to have some color uh, at my, hair line here right now you can see my grays are coming through but the balance of my hair is dark so this blended much better with my own hair color and um i still go to my hairstylist and she colors my hair for me and i uh i just you know, I'm, I'm gradually, you know, getting colors. I will next time probably have some lighter colors blended into this um, so that it will blend a little bit better with this topper. Uh, I would love to see this topper in a few other colors. It would be fun. Um, something like even the Moonlit Orchid would be fun. Uh, I have also gotten the Lydia which this is also an aniston foil, but I'm not gonna be wearing her for a while because it is longer hair, and I still want my hair to be a little bit longer uh, for blending purposes uh, with this particular topper. I also got Lydia in the Earth and Ash, which is back here uh, on my, my dresser. And uh, she's a darker color, which is great because I tend to color my hair a little bit darker so that I can blend it again uh, relative to wigs that I wear. But I think that it, I, if this one could be done in the, um, oh, like the Coco Swirl or uh, the Tortoiseshell um, or 
again, even that earth and ash, I think it would really be cute to have, you know, a little bit more color um, so that it, it more people could wear this. It, you know, not everybody has long hair. And for me, like I said, I, I had my head shaped for, for a number of years as I've been wearing wigs for about almost five years now. And I found that if I shaved my head, it was a little more comfortable, especially in the summertime because it would get so hot, but you don't wear toppers then. And then if you're going to wear a topper and I've done, um, a review on one called instant charm that I had bought from the wig company, which was when I had grown my hair out. It grew out because of uh, COVID and I couldn't get my hair cut or styled or anything. So as my hair was growing out, I still needed something on top. I didn't have much hair up here. So I got that. It blended beautifully with my hair color and, and I, I loved it. But I do like having um, something other than gray as far as hair goes and growing it out, uh, you know, it, like I said, th this little bit that I have has taken almost a year. So anyway, um, I, I hope that you get something out of this by seeing them and seeing that, uh, as your hair grows progressively longer, you can wear something like Katcha here, or if your hair is longer and you want something for coverage, something like Lydia here is a really nice choice. The beauty of Lydia is she has that, that hand-tied monofilament top, but she also has a lace front. And the lace front is nice if you don't you know, wear bangs. I mean, you could always cut bangs into it, but if you don't wear bangs and you just, you know, I did this into a side part. Um, my, uh, you could do any, you know, part on right or left or center, whichever way works for you. And um, this is a nice choice for you as well. So I just wanted to give you a look at these and, uh, See what you can you can use for you know alternative hair and and helper hair, especially if you've thinned out on top and uh, you want some of that coverage up there. Let me give you some of the specs on this. Uh, she again, this is Aniston Foil R, and this color is just your your rooted uh, bronze color, and. Um, it is got like a light golden brown. Um, it's a number 12 base. The roots are two-tone highlights with medium honey and a creamy champagne. So that's this color, Aniston Foil R. For Katcha, she is a platinum blonde with that medium brown root. Um, I don't have the numbers or anything with it. I'll put it in the description so you can see that. Um, again, 100% 100, 100 hand tied monofilament base up on the top. She has the five pressure sensitive clips. She has a base of six and a half inches in the length. Her width is six and, or excuse me, length is six and a quarter width is six and a half. The fringe is five to seven, depending on the layering of it. As you can see, there's some longer lengths here and I've um, cut some of my bangs down a little bit to be a little bit more conducive to my head and face. I've got a small face, small head. Uh, the sides are eight and a half and they are very razor layered uh, again. And then the back, is a 10 and a half in the back. The weight of this is three ounces, so she's really light. Um, I, I'm feeling so much more comfortable with this. And um, I'm so glad that, you know, my hair has been growing out that I can wear this topper. Oh, and I almost forgot. Again, this is a heat friendly fiber. So if you wanted to maybe curl this up a little bit, maybe, um, and, and I might be trying that. 
Um, my hair underneath doesn't curl and or hold a curl very well. So um, not sure if I'll be doing that or I'm not. Um, I'm gonna test the waters here. So anyway, um, you can certainly, anybody I think can wear this. It's just a matter of what length is your hair? What color is your hair? Um, will that base fit you, that six and a quarter by six and a half? Um, and the, the bangs or fringe um, and the length of that, um, so yeah, up to you. Now you can always do things like getting some of these hairs out of my face. I can always use something like, I like little clips that I just put there and they work really well for me. So uh, just gets it a, a little bit out from drooping in my face. You can also use hairsprays, um, wig wax, uh, you know, so experiment. I'd like to thank you for watching my video on Topper Revisited, this being Kacha in the color Aniston Foil Rooted. I hope you get something out of this and maybe you uh, focus in on this on the Hair Kitty Kitty website and just take a look at her. Um, right now she's only available in a couple colors, the two that I've shown you, although we still have something like the Lydia Topper which comes in a few other colors than the two that I have here. So take a peek at the website. Uh, if you're interested in a topper and you, you, know, you want something just to give you a little more confidence uh, by putting a little bit extra hair on the top. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, check out my Instagram and my Facebook. I do put things up on there um, periodically and, uh, you know, new wigs that I am trying out. Uh, I would have to say that the majority of them have been coming from Sister Wigs at Hair Kitty Kitty because I happen to like the wigs and the hair. It's comfortable, it's economical, and I enjoy wearing them very much. I will be back with more wig and hair topper type of uh, reviews and such for you. Um, I'll probably not do Lydia for a little while. I am still waiting for a little bit more hair length. Uh, it, like you can see with this, just a little bit is all I need. And um, I'm thinking that probably in the next couple months, I should have long enough hair to be able to do that. Again, thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.